hi, I'd love you to meet my girlfriend. I mean, I mean, my lover. I mean, my partner. I don't know what I mean. Holy shit, who are, who are they and who am I? Now, words are the most singularly powerful force available to humanity. They really are. Words just, they carry so much energy. And this year I started dating a gorgeous woman and we've since become engaged, which is really cool. And early on, I wondered, what do I call her? I hadn't dated for a long time and, um, and I'm 60 now and I've just had you know, lots of reviewing I've kind of been doing in my brain over the last, you know, well, five to 10 years. And in this relationship, I, I really was wondering, how do we introduce you? What, what are our kind of roles in life? Yeah, I'm a crow nowadays. I'm living into the second half of my life. And, and I really, I wondered. And so we had a big chat about it. We really did. Now, at this stage, Alice was my girlfriend, committed to being you know, my girlfriend and, and partners. Uh, and she was absolutely my lover. And in the past, I would have said, hey, this is Alice, she's my girlfriend, or hey, this is Alice, she's my partner. And when we were talking about it, we thought, why shouldn't 60-year-old women have lovers instead of just girlfriends? Now, what's the difference? Because words hold energy. And I had a bit of a, you know, a Google search, and everything was based around saying that, you know, like the girlfriend or the partner is the committed thing, and then that the lover is maybe something on the side or something you have when you're not really committed. And I thought... Why? Why does it have to be that? It doesn't have to be that. The reality is that, yeah, words hold energy and I can bring my energy differently to any word. And since stepping into my crone over the last 10 years, I've been even more conscious of my language and how I bring it to the world. And the bottom line is I want a lover. I want a passionate woman who's my partner that I love to be with and I'd love to be sexually active with. And I want to have great sex with my lover. I just do. Now, now don't squirm because you're probably thinking, what, Jen? what, don't tell me this, what, I don't want to know. But the reality is relationships are real and sex is part of a relationship. Now, relationships can absolutely run stale as complacency sneaks in. I've been there in past relationships and you may have been there too. I was speaking to a couple of friends recently and one with a, a relationship of more than 10 years was saying, you know, it's great. It's really good, but we have sex kind of the same way and it's the same routine and, and, and it's, yeah, it's routine, which is cool. And then I was speaking to another friend that have been dating to about a year and there's still a routine to it, but they actually call each other lovers and they had the same conversation. They're younger. They're like in their late twenties and, and really close friends, but they, they had the same conversation because and they and then they kind of surveyed and asked some friends as well and it was interesting that we've been running a similar path but why can't we have lovers instead of just partners and I, I went researching and I found a long-term study that was published in the book called the secrets of the super young by a guy by the name of David Weeks he's a doctor and he's the head of the old age psychology at the Royal Edinburgh Hospital in Scotland Good old Scotland and he found that the key ingredients for looking younger in life Ah, staying active, good, but also maintaining a good sex life. And he studied 3,500 people from 30 to 101, good ages. And he found that sex helps you look between four and seven years younger. And I know energetically as a practitioner, absolutely, it would the, the pure energy of, of that kind of action habits and everything would totally have our body feeling younger as well. So the way that they measured if people looked between four and seven years younger was by having um, people impartially look at their photos and say, you know, kind of how old. So but it was a decent survey, 3,500 people. And the bottom line of it all is I, I do everything in my life. I, I, I talk actively about I want to age gracefully. I want to age youthfully. I, I, I don't want to be the little old lady in the flowery dress bent up and having their body not work from. I want to be strong, fit, healthy, and vital all the way through my life, however long that, that goes. I want to be that 96-year-old chick that they're going, what the fuck is she doing now? I want to be that person. I really do. Because I believe we can be. I don't believe we have to turn into little old people. I believe we can be strong and fit and healthy physically and mentally all the way through our lives. And I know surfing and the other things I do in my life play a huge part. So why shouldn't I want a lover instead of a girlfriend. For me, it's not just the aging youthfully thing. It's I want that lusciousness, that juiciness of life in my life. Now, you know, what we think about, we bring about, what we say, we bring forward, 
all those things in life, language holds huge energy. So why don't we say for what we want? Well, we, we maybe we think society or people are going to judge us. Well, screw them. What I know is that the way I bring words or my presence and everything to the world has people judge me or not? Well, people are going to judge you no matter what anyway. That's just a reality. 50% of people will love you no matter what you do. 50% of people will not ever love you no matter what you do. It's just a reality of life. And I've done podcasts on that in the past. The thing is, why hold your life back for 50% of people who will never love you no matter what? Why fear being judged? I know I did it when I was younger. There's so much wisdom in being older, thinking, I, you know, I care deeply about everything in life, but I also don't care about what people think. And so why shouldn't I have the life that I choose? And as a 60-year-old woman, i got to tell you, I look forward to you one day meeting my lover because she's a bloody awesome chick. And the same as my vibe I bring to the world, being a gay woman and being out as a gay woman uh, allows me to, to bring it to the world in a way that I'm not judged negatively and things like that. So if we, if we fear it, we attract it. I choose to just attract the good in life. So I'm curious, what do you want? Do you want a luscious life that's got passion and excitement and sex and helping your body to age slower or not? That's it. There's no right or wrong. It doesn't matter. This is just a conversation I want to bring forth. Where are you and what do you want to do with your, your health and physically and emotionally and relationships for the rest of your life? I know I choose that I want a lover and I want great sex and I want a committed, juicy relationship that's it that's the bottom line and I choose to live into that this way so I hope I haven't spun you out it's just something to contemplate and you can choose to take it on or not the thing is if we don't you know question and, and have deep inquiry in life we stay stale so if life is not juicy and it's like ugh, everything you want it to be these little things that I talk about in my healthy life hacks can help you have that so I leave you with just a couple of quick healthy life hacks. So healthy life hack number one, if your relationship and your connection to your lover is a little bit flat, maybe look for some resources. There's a really cool show on Netflix at the moment. If you're into things like Netflix, it's called Sex, Love and Goop. It's been created by Gwyneth Paltrow. I really recommend that. Or seek help, seek books, seek. There's so much out there nowadays. Seek something and, and see what you can do to bring in. Healthy life hack number two is a simple one to bring into your life. Just try it on. I encourage you, just try it on. What if you started calling your partner your lover? Even if it's just to them, you don't have to go all of a sudden to the family together and go, hi, everyone, meet my lover. No, that's not what it's about. But even just to them, manifest what you want in life. Words hold power. Use them to your advantage. If you want to check out my show notes, head over to www.healthylifehacks.com.au.